A2. We got Pearly versus Rika San Avalon. Okay, so Rika San Avalon starting with a normal summon Loki. Summon Dryad. Oh no. People need to stop reading these cards. Every, literally every feature match we've had with Rika Sun Avalon in the last year, people have to read what the cards do every single time. And that's really bad because <laughs> if you don't know how to hand trap this deck well, you can get, you can get lost in the dust. I mean, you can get caught up and lose. The Gamma is pretty good there. Um, the Gamma taking the body off board. That's definitely very strong. Uh, also, I don't know why the timer was already clicking down that much. I don't think that the time is actually correct for them. Rika's never been that popular. It won, like, two nationals. And it, it has so many tops. It topped, like, every event. Literally. It's topped, like, so many YCSs. Even if it's not every YCS, like, you know, YCS LA got top 8. We've seen over in Europe, it tops all the time. It's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, Rika's not, it's not a completely horrible deck. I don't like the deck right now, but I do think that people are slacking on the deck. Like, if you don't know how to play against it, that's gonna, like, if you have to read sewing, like, that's tough, right? Like, you're not gonna know how to play against the deck when the grind game starts coming and how to actually beat its grind game. Or maybe you don't understand Con Con correctly and you think that they contribute your monster twice in one turn so you play differently. Stuff like that. Field spell outs Nuor so well. Yeah. But Nuor also outs Field spell so well. <laughs> she is nasty too. It is. Okay, so they're reading Dryas now. Yep, it is not a once per turn effect, but. They did go through sewing there to get to the Loki. So even though Dryas is being able to search a second sewing if they play it, it's not like they can play it this turn. So summon effect. Okay, so they do play multiple sewing. They're going to activate its effect here. Uh, I mean, you can tribute twice with Con Con if you have to. True. <laughs> True. I mean, I guess, yes. <laughs> but I meant like... If you full combo turn one past turn, and some people think that you can princess tribute the opponent's monster and sheet tribute the opponent's monster, but you can't do that. But I guarantee that if Elvis B tried to do that against Timothy here, a hundred percent Timothy lets it go through because they don't know the cards that well. And even after reading the card, you may not be able to pick up on it. Sorry, I only caught like half what you said. Nah, you're good. No worries. No worries. Happy Mother Happy Mother's Day, DB Grinder. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, I've been a mother my whole life, actually. Yep. They're gonna go try to summon Princess. Yup. Okay. Make the Sylvan. Unless. Oh my gosh! I just realized. Oh. Hey, shout out to the leftover shark for the gifted sub to Frog E N. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Wow, leftover sharks been going crazy crazy i've been on rika san avalon for the last six months decks a lot of fun uh, i mean the play is tributing opponent's monster take with sheet and then tribute the taken monster view of princess yes but i you got i you understand what i'm saying you can't tribute their monster twice that's what i'm saying <laughs> that's it simple as that you can't tribute their monster twice simple as that that is it start and finish that's it <laughs> mother of the grinders straight up Said, F it, Sub Sunday. Subway. Subway could go hard right now. Oh, they're going to drop Nib. Okay. They're reading over the Sylvan dance pool. Um, I'm pretty sure it still looks at the top three cards. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. <clears throat> could be wrong. That just sucks. Like, that just hurts like gamma plus nib you don't even know you don't even have to know how to play against your opponent's deck you don't even have to know their cards if you have gamma nib like that's really strong uh you cannot tribute twice on their turn unless you have like metaverse true 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 uh who doesn't like dropping a fat rock on somebody <laughs> Dude, nib is crazy also there's no way they just pulled like a random receipt as the token 
Oh, we can see the Therion King. Okay, yeah, so they're gonna bring out the, uh, the Snowdrop. Yup, still resolves. They won't be able to use Sylvan Dance Pool to try to change the levels, though. Which is usually what they try to do with that. But I guess they have Snowdrop to change the level if it comes up. They might not, though. They, they might not have anything else. They might have Con Con. They could activate Con Con now that they have a Rico on field. No, they don't. They would have done that before. Yeah, when they summon Princess, true. If he hits matching levels, Bora in hand one time. Match slip as token. Oh, that's the match slip as the token? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that switched out. Uh, oh, the opponent went happy memory. Discard Squamata and draw phase. That's a really good start. My god, what a hand. Gamma, Nib, happy memory, Squamata. Specifically happy memory, too. Because that's the best one here. Because that's the best one that Lily could upgrade into. Pearly 1, Squamata 2, Collector Rare Pearly 2, so rich, so inspirational. Go ahead, dump a, I was going to say, dump the Ultra Shit All Beast now. Just flex your wealth on us. So they're going to dump Hedgehog. Uh, Pearly resolves now, looking, looking at the top 3. Oh, okay, hits pretty memory there. Hedgehog effect, grab Shit All Beast. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Yep, and you get to shuffle since you just added off Hedgehog. If I have Nib and Gamma, I'm not reading any of my opponent's cards. <laughs> yeah, just like, alright, yep, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, uh, you're gonna start doing something? Boom, boom. That's how I feel every time I drill Nib plus another hand trap. It's just cheating. Okay, activate Pretty, discard Beast, go summon. Uh, both players getting a thousand, so now it's eight thousand, nine thousand, because they lost a thousand. Turn one, bring out Per Lily, Per Lily one, Beast two, draw one, try to search out my friend Pearly. Yeah, I'm not gonna princess negate that or anything. So draw one, search out my friend Pearly, unless we already have it. Then we might just grab like the trap card, because then if we can get the new ore, we win. Uh, they don't have Petal Engrave. That's pretty good. Oh, they have Lone Fire in hand. I just saw that. It's a judge. <laughs> now nah, the match slip as a... The match slip as the token is crazy. I like that. Mm, I guess Per Lily could upgrade in the beauty. Nah, it's not very good. It's not bad. It's not bad. It really depends what else they have. Or, depending on what they think the opponent has in hand. Oh? Uh, yeah, what are you going for? I, 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 okay, I, I wasn't expecting that. Lambda? Sure. Oh, okay, you have another Gamma in hand. <laughs> and the driver in Gamma turn one retributed by Nib. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. That's so crazy. You are so lucky this game won. <laughs> what Nats are this? Uh, this is the uh, Switz Nats. Uh, Switzerland Nats 2023. Activate my friend Pearly. They said, but why? Uh, you may as well, right? Like, if you have Gamma in hand, you may as well summon Lambda. So that way, you can't get hand trapped. Hand was insane. Yeah, literally. That hand was broken. They had the god hand. The so broken hand. I want to I wanna see what the rest of their hands is, though. Because if they have, like, pretty... Okay, obviously they didn't have delicious. Yep. Okay, so now they have delicious. Yeah, they definitely can't set it up now. I was wondering if they could go, like, beauty... Beauty on snow, like summon beauty, activate, delicious, make us that way snowdrop can't die, switch it to attack with beauty, and then summon happiness with a pur lily to go for game. But obviously, without seeing their hand, I don't know if they even had a way to even do something like that. Oh, they're gonna go battle phase now, okay. I swear to god, if we pass turn after doing like nothing. I'm gonna be salty. I'm gonna be very salty. Because I really like Pearly. Okay. Okay. Normal summon Lily. 
uh, activate the second effect now. I guess we can do this in main phase two. I don't really see a point. I feel like we should have just done this in main phase one. Get more damage during battle phase. Unless if we're summoning defense. I guess then we just play around gamma. Because they have two cards in hand. I guess no. You have to beat Snowdrop first, right? Otherwise they have Princess Negate. Okay. He is the chosen one. Do they actually have gamma? Or could they be bluffing I didn't see? Uh, we don't know. But... I feel like if you're going to commit into a lambda like that, it can't be for a bluff. Like, sometimes it makes sense to bluff lambda gamma, but right there with what they had, I just don't think it's true. I don't think you turn a per lily and a per lily into a lambda just for bluff. They're going to go per lily, upgrade into plump, especially when your opponent doesn't have a lot of cards. Yeah, go into plump. <clears throat> plump effect to attach. They outed all the opponent's cards, so they can't go plump pretty to attach. I guess we couldn't do that anyways, because the only thing that we could attach is Snowdrop, but they'd have Princess. Okay, attach Sleepy and Pretty, so we're going to get Sleepy draw off of that, which is nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Lambda just telegraphs sometimes, and you can take advantage of that, I guess. Yeah. 100%. I'll activate spell, chain plump attach, go in the new aura, pass turn, and then they're going to get new aura effect to draw during standby. Okay, yeah, they're just going to admit defeat there. Beating new aura isn't easy, especially after that turn one of you having to go through engine and stuff already. But okay, yeah, we can go ahead and just skip into the next game. Okay, and we are going to get to see... The Rika Sun Avalon deck decide uh, they're just going to go first. They actually could choose to go second here. I want to be completely against that. Yeah, I want to be completely against that, to be honest, choosing to go second. Okay, but, yeah, that's fair. They do want to go first. I mean, the deck is really strong going first if it pops off. It's, like, impossible to lose. Okay, normal summon out, Rika Petal. Yeah, they're reading over that. That card is crazy. That card says, once per turn, search or dump. And then once per turn, doing the opponent's end phase, summon it out for free. That's just like two really solid effects. Uh, who's your favorite Pearly? Uh, probably Plump. I like Plump. It's a really solid interruption. It's really good. It's a really, really good card. It's insane in the mirror match. Uh, dang, I didn't know Gamma someone from Grave 2. Yep, yep. They're gonna go search out Mudan. Uh, if you have Droll, you definitely drop it here. 100%. I hope we get Big Plump. <laughs> I, I hope we get a bunch of, like, cool pearly stuff. But I also hope that we get, like, some cool Virtual World stuff, too. But, I don't know. The Virtual World archetype is just, like, overplayed at this point. It's kind of boring. It just kind of sucks. Non-target banishes nuts. True. Seems bad though. Seems big though. Pearly plushy. Pearly Yoshi. Actually, hold on. Let Let me check something on my Twitch real quick. Okay, yeah, they're gonna activate Glamour. That's pretty good. That's just tribute. Go search. Double search because they tributed. Um. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me check something real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Um, uh, okay, that sucks. Yeah, I, I actually have some new subscriber emotes coming real soon. I uploaded them on the Twitch a couple days ago, and I just have to wait for them to get approved. But, yeah, I actually, yeah, they're pending approval right now. Hopefully they go through really soon. They've been pending for, like, two days, so they should be done any time now. We're, we're, we're gonna have some good ones. We're gonna have some good ones. We're gonna have, I'm gonna get some pearly emotes. I've been liking Pearly a lot. I decided I need to get some Pearly emotes. I've been playing it a lot on stream. So we're going to get some of those. Those are going to be cool. I'm going to have viewer emotes too once I'm allowed to get those. Which is like three weeks from now. So I have to wait till two months after I got partnered on Twitch. Which was like five weeks ago. So there will be some follower emotes coming too. I'm going to get some more subscriber emotes. I just don't know what I want. I don't want to just throw out some like trashy ones. 
and also have to have like good ideas because last time i made subscriber emotes i thought they were gonna come out good and then like half of them came out bad half of them did come out pretty nice though i like some of them like the popega ruler i like that one but like the one with me holding up the body mo like that one just doesn't look that great i'm not gonna lie so that one's probably eventually gonna get scratched okay they're gonna strena add back glamour that's just follow up yeah they're reading over that the add back yeah, Princess Interruption. Princess Tribute Strena is good because then you can get Strena Effect to upgrade into an XYZ and get another Interruption. So that's like two Interruptions right there. VFD Return. <laughs> oh god, no. What can even fix Virtual World? I have no idea. They're, the way that their archetype is made isn't very great. Okay, they're going to go Mudan over Strena. Mudan 1, Strena 2. So try to search Field Spell. Summon out Strena. I'm guessing attach the... Uh, the sacred tree guy because that's a negate that's pretty good yeah negate's pretty solid get an infernoid deck decatron emote but put sunglasses on it and call it dankatron <laughs> i'm out <laughs> i'm out <laughs> what game is this oh uh, this is game two uh pearly won game one and we're seeing rika san avalon combo here the purely player is reading every single card that the Rika San Avalon player is throwing out, though, so it's taking forever for this turn one to happen. An absolute year. But it'll be like that. I mean, if your opponent doesn't know what your cards do, like you, you just kind of have to read them. Yeah, they're going to search Con Con. So now they have Monster Negate set up. Uh, they don't have a Spelling Graveyard. For that to attach though, because they added back the glamour. So that's a little bit unfortunate. We're gonna activate Con Con. Con Con, go set Rika Sheet from the deck. Also, I also wish the camera was just zoomed out a little bit. It feels like it's just zoomed in, you know? Like half the extra is cut off. Yeah, they're gonna go set Rika Sheet. They just let them read it right away. Yeah, sure. How do we still not understand how the deck works? No idea. You're going to be at the Through the Decade Regional in June. I don't know anything you just said to me. I don't know what Through the Decade is. Uh, so I'm going to go with no. Because I don't know what that is. Um. Okay. So they have Princess plus Sheet. Okay. We shouldn't be able to do anything else. If we had anything else to do, we probably would have done it prior Unless if we just have some blank extender here, yeah. I was gonna say, even a blank extender, I don't even know what we do. Like, making the Sylvan Link's cool, but we want to keep it Rika up. Um, Con Con is such a crap card, true. Oof the card shop in Louisville. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't go to Kentucky. <laughs> I don't go to Kentucky for regionals. That's like 10 hours away. I don't I don't even I don't even go like two hours away for regionals most of the time. But okay, they're gonna activate pretty. Oh okay. I know it's Rika sheet set, but the way they looked at it. Discard Niv? Did they have it again? Or was it the sixth? Had to have been the sixth, right? Okay, they're gonna bring out Per Lily. And then you know, both players gain a thousand. I like how they're making him keep life points on that. Wait. How is someone at 10,000? I... Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, bring out Per Lily. Uh, per Lily effect. Try to go search. For a non-quick play Pearly card. Six for sure, yeah. Is it enough though? Con Con and Sheet go crazy. Con Con and Sheet do go crazy, but I have hope in Pearly. They are reading so much, though, which hurts my soul. It's just more reading than gameplay by a mile. Um, yeah, oh, shout out to a rare species of penguin for the follow, goat for the follow, tangu YGO for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Engine too strong? True. Pearly Engine can break through a lot, sometimes. I mean, you know, sometimes you can sneak a Zeus in. 
Okay, they're going Sacred Tree Effect, Chain Ogre. Um Yeah, I was about to say, let me read let me read Sacred Tree too, because is there like some weird way that Ogre works with it? I don't think so. It shouldn't, right? Um, okay, I'll try looking up. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. I was going to say, it, it would stop the negate. It attaches for effect. Oh, fair enough. Bro, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikipedia is so dog water. I'd rather just use DB to look up card effects. Um, okay, yeah, it does. That's crazy that it detaches for effect. That is good to know. That is good to know. I've never I've never had it come up to where I've had like ogre against that. I guess there's maybe I mean it's good. Hey, cool. I learned something. I always ogred con con if I had it. But maybe if I have two ogre, now I know what to do with the second one. To be fair, I only know that because I happen to play the deck. That's fair. Hello, Mr. Grinder. What's up, Grim Yu? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, yeah, they're reading Con Con here. So, Pearly Effect, the top three. Yep, goes through. Delicious Thrust Pretty. Okay, they're going to grab the Pretty, put the other two back to the bottom of the deck. Yep, they just grabbed another copy of Pretty. They have Pearly that could attempt to upgrade into Beauty. But it doesn't really matter. Yeah, stopping the trap is kind of tough. Well, playing through it is tough. Um, favorite pizza is pineapple. You're insane. I don't. I don't like pineapples in general, so I don't. I don't like pineapples on pizza. Obviously, if I just don't like them in general, but I don't know. I know a lot of people like the pineapple on the pizza. I feel like that's timeout worthy. Not gonna lie. What? Oh, the pineapple pizza? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. There's so many people that like pineapple pizza. I can't even hate. Okay. So, looks like they are explaining what it does. Okay, they're going to go pearly to upgrade in the beauty. They're reading over it. Yup, beauty is a negate imperm. Pretty is a send to attach. It gives beauty that effect. Uh, don't go in Italy, please. Uh, I mean, I can eat it, but it's not my favorite. Happiness, then bounce the trap to force it. That really wouldn't work. I mean, that, I don't know. How, you have to spend so many cards to get to that point, though. Because you have to have happiness. You have to activate a spell. And then in response to the spell, the opponent takes your happiness. Hey, that's tough. Uh, barbecue chicken goes better with pineapple than Canadian bacon as a topping. Why do people even call it Canadian bacon? It's literally just ham. Like, it's, it's, it's literally just ham. I'd never order that abomination. Never tried this, only Canadian bacon. Why are y'all talking about Can Is there a difference between ham and Canadian bacon? I thought they were the same thing. They just go sheet target just to negate. Fair enough. Well, not negate, but like you can't use the effects, blah, 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 blah. Yep. Not an imperm. Very close to it, but not an imperm. Usually you don't see sheet be used for that. Usually it's the tribute take. Uh, to keep Canada relevant in normal everyday speech. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I call it swan. Holy, okay. Now, activate Delicious Memory. Is this? Okay. They're going to discard my friend, bring out Per Lily. Sure. Um, we could have done that in response to the Rika Sheet, though. I guess it wouldn't have been worth it. I was going to say then Beauty Attach and switch Sacred Tree to Defense, but, like, we can't. We could be over it then, because 
Beauty would gain the attack from Delicious. Oh, now you're trying to switch that to attack, eh? Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Upgrading the plump. Sure. That's fine. What do they have in their grave? I know that they have a pretty engrave. I would like to see it though, so that way I can see if, uh, how many pearly spells. Yeah, it's just one pretty, my friend. Okay, 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 never mind, never mind. I was going to say, you could go battle phase crash, get my friend effect, add back. It's not the greatest. Yeah, they're going to do it. Okay, crash. My friend to add back. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Add back pretty. So we have Noir set up. Pretty easily here. We could go plump effect, attach two. Yep, attach pretty and my friend from our graveyard. It's just, it. this hurts. I'm not going to lie. It's taking so long for everything because neither player knows their opponent's deck. We're in top eight of nationals. Plump effect to attach to. Yes. Okay. They have pretty effect that can send to go take. They can set pretty. Send it to attach. If they have another card that they could set... They could send that to attach also when they go for the new war. They could send the my friend pearly. I doubt they'd do that because that card's really strong. It's honestly just like follow up at this point. We don't even need it to like we're not gonna get hit with a kaiju or anything. We're just gonna need it for follow up. Oh, we're gonna activate pretty. Okay. Chain plump to attach. Vanish till end phase, sure. Okay, attack. Okay, yep. That's fine. We could have also... Mm, never mind, I was going to say, we could have equipped Delicious to Beauty and done the same thing, but I guess it wouldn't work like that exactly. We could have went pretty attached. But I guess it was... It's like they just get the card back. Yeah, there's just, like, no way you do that. Like, you want to go for that damage? Like, does it really matter to get the 14 damage in there? Or the 17, my bad. Does it matter to get 1,700 damage in over just straight up getting rid of your opponent's cards? Like, there's just no way you do that. Uh, I mean two semi-real decks, but still. What do you mean two semi-real? Pearly's in the top three. Enrico San Avalon has won, like, national... Are you kidding? Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, this player doesn't even know what they're doing. They literally knew that the opponent had glamour. They didn't even nor spin back Con Con. You literally were supposed to attach Con Con to your monster. And then you could have attached Sacred Tree to your monster. You could have actually outed their whole field and had Nuor with like nine materials or eight materials. It should have been different. They just didn't know what their opponent's deck did. And they literally lost the game because of that. They lost because they didn't know what the opponent's cards did. They didn't lose because like their opponent's deck is better. They just lost because they didn't know how to interrupt against the cards or play against them. And that'll happen when you play against a deck that has won nationals and gotten very close to winning ycs's and then uh you just don't know what they do okay but pearly hits happy there that's good top eight dot 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 <laughs> activate delicious okay discard hedgehog go summon okay pearlily one hedgehog two yup go search squamata go search my friend pearly yup the pearly player knows that they have to hurry up now they know they can't be taking you no know, 20 minutes to read every card now because time's coming and they have to lose life points to play their deck. 
Oh my gosh, the DB grinder. Oh my gosh, it's Enzo. What's up? Yeah, they're gonna activate the my friend Pearly. Pay 500 life points. Okay, Pearly is down in life points now. There's seven minutes left. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if they do have a time extension just because they actually took 25 minutes to read the last two games. So maybe a judge gave a time extension or something. I don't know. They're gonna reveal three sleepy, put back. Okay, that's fine. Activate Sleepy, Chain Plump, Attach, Discard Go Summon. Okay, uh, Discard Skomata, bring out Pearly, Pearly 1, Skomata 2, Dump Beast, look at the top 3, grab a Pearly card, draw 1. Shout out to the Capybara emotes, well the Capybara emotes. Okay. Oh, well, this is actually crazy. We see Rika Sun Avalon in top eight. It was only top sixteen for this nationals, which it's okay. Which makes top eight not that crazy. I mean, top eight's still really, really good. Top eight's still really, really good. I think there was like three hundred players in this tournament. Top sixteen, nine rounds of Swiss. We've seen, uh, we've seen some good players in this stream for sure. Okay, link off, make Lambda. They did this before. What? Oh, what are they doing with this? Are they cooking the goo? Hold on, let me open DB real quick. Are they cooking the goo? I'm about to steal your goo. Timothy, your goo is mine, bro. Your goo is mine. It's already stolen. I'm literally buying this on TCG Player as we speak. Nah, I'm playing. I'm reading the card, though. I'm guessing it's the Link 2 Fairy. I forget what this card does. Um, oh, I typed XYZ. Okay, let me let me read what this card does. Okay, it's Condemned Dark Lord. Takes two fairies. If you tribute summon fairy monsters that require two tributes... Or, wait, you can tribute summon fairy monsters that require two tributes by banishing two from your graver instead of tributing and still treat it as a tribute summon... You can discard one card, take one Dark Lord monster from your deck, either at the hand or send to the graveyard once per turn during your end phase. Gain 500 for each fairy on field? We don't need a time card! The deck doesn't need a time card. That's what it is. It's literally just a time card. That's why it took an hour to read. You don't need this card. If you just don't take an hour to read your deck doesn't go to time <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> that is crazy okay yeah dude yeah they're calculating the gang 1000 from pretty minus 500 for my friend yes you're at 85 rika sun avalon is at 9000 rika sun avalon can also gain life points during their turn okay you need it at locals? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess at locals, sure. That's crazy, though. I wasn't expecting to see that. That's cool, though. It's a cool win card. Or win, or win in time card. Uh, This guy's like Derek from NPMD, but for Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't even know what that is. Uh, now just combo for the next five minutes and you're good. That's tough. What is this Link Monster? It is the uh, the Dark Lord Link Monster. It says at end phase, gain 500 life points for each fairy you have. So they are at 10,000 life points to their opponent's 9,000 life points. They are winning in time. What event is this? This is the Swiss Nationals 2023. Okay, so start off with Special Summon Rika Princess. Are they just going to ignore that? Oh, they, I respect it. We're ignoring every card that gets thrown down on the field. We don't care at all right now. Yes, Nor. Boom, out of here. First card you're throwing down, we're outing it. Also, Rika San Avalon opens zero hand traps. The deck can fit like 18 in their main deck. Not literally, but close to it. Post side deck, they can have a lot of hand traps. So, I'm guessing they have to have talents or thrust here, right? No, they just have a bunch of engine. Activate Con Con. They said no, no, 
Not again. I'm not even reading it. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. This time. Spin that back with the quickness. That card deserves the spin back with the quickness. The other cards, you don't have to do. That card, yes. You actually have to. Uh, damn, no one has a time card. He played really fast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Game three, he actually played really, really fast. For having a time card. Oh, there's the thrust called by. I knew they had thrust or talents, right? Like, you have to go in second cards. You have to have some. But okay. Um, yeah, it is, it is crazy that they played really fast game three. But game one and game two, they played super slow. Like, insanely slow. Like, there was probably, like, 15 plays total. And it took, like, 40 minutes. Called by that. <laughs> Condemn Dark Lord is such a cool card. It deserves better than game used this way. Nah, I respect it. I like it when cards get used this way. It's like Death Frog in tier. It's kind of funny when stuff like that gets used. But okay, yeah, the thrust is going to get the resolve. Um, They could go for Herald of Abyss. I doubt. Like the, You actually can't go for that because it costs life points. And you don't really care about the follow-up off of my friend Pearly. Yeah, you could just go for Talons. Talons are just way better, especially when they have set cards, because they could chain a spell to summon out Per Lily and dodge the Herald of Abyss. So you definitely just grab Talons. I mean, come on, you have to go faster, right? Like, there's not time. There's not enough time. Grab Unexplored Die. Unless. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. They go Talents right now. They got hit with Drool. Okay, never mind. They can't talent, because they actually have to unexplore it first. Or unexpected die. But you can't, because then Norse spins it back right away. Hmm. Droll sucks too. Droll hurts. Droll actually really hurts Rikos and Avalon. Okay, they're going to activate unexpected die now to go summon. Will we see a miracle? Also, hold on. Let me read that link one more time let me let me read exactly how it's worded um okay let me just dark lord okay it says during your end phase even though they wouldn't be making it to end phase because they'd make it to whatever the end of the phase is i was just curious okay so unexpected dies summon out loki anything on summon Yep, they are now in time. Yeah, they're trying to keep the, the zones up. It's kind of hard when neither player have zones on their mats or a field center. You can definitely make things confusing. He added die. Where's tactics when you need it? it Could have taken condemned end phase gang life points and won. Um, well, you can't take condemned because they have Noor. So they can Noor out it. Yeah, there's summoning dry us. It looked like they were activating the effect, but they're under droll. So obviously they can't search. Um You could go battle phase. Oh no, you can't. Because we're already in time. Unless if they actually did get a time extension. I was gonna say. Because otherwise we could go to time, attack, lose a hundred, gang a hundred someone from the extra, gain a little bit more, but it's not a thousand though, that's the thing. Is we can gain Wing gang, not a lot. Not while we're getting interrupted like this. There's no way. They're going to new or put back. I don't know why they put back the link over putting back the Loki. Because they could just turn Loki into the link. Activate talents. It has to be draw. It has to be draw. Really, it's take. It's take now? I guess. I guess. It sucks though, taking now. <laughs> they already went through all their interruptions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, Pearly wins over Rika Sun Avalon. That was such a bad match. Wow, okay. Time extended because they had issues at the beginning. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, they're going to go ahead and scoop there. Wow. They could have baited the Nor, taken Condemned, and won. Yeah, they could have tried. But they did have a time extension. It does make sense because at the beginning it was down like three minutes before they actually started. I remember bringing that up.